name is James Leichter. I'm faculty advisor uh, on board this cruise. I'm an associate professor of biological oceanography at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Um, so we've been on this cruise now for a little over two weeks, and we're actually heading in. We're so far offshore, we're, we're over a thousand miles from shore, so it'll actually take us four or five days to get, get back to the mainland. And it's interesting realizing just how far we are, just how remote um, this habitat is. And at the same time, um, now that we've really covered a lot of distance, had a chance to get a lot of samples, even without looking at those samples in detail, we can see that there's an awful lot of plastic. There's a lot of small debris. We found small debris in every surface sample we've taken since we entered the gyre, and which is really quite remarkable. And certainly in scientific sampling, it's uh, quite remarkable to come across any phenomenon um, consistently across a wide range of samples. We've also seen a lot of large particles or large objects. There are buoys, there are ghost nets. We had a, a very dramatic encounter um, in the water where we found a small drift net um, and were able to look at what was under it. Um, lots of fish, uh, large and small. Many of the plastic objects we've been pulling in have had fouling communities on them. So this material that's getting into the ocean is certainly having an effect on life in the ocean. At the very least, we know that a lot of organisms are colonizing the surfaces of the plastic. We know that the material that breaks down, the size is on the same scale as the, a lot of the planktonic organisms. And there's certainly potential that these small plastic particles are being ingested by fish, by filter feeders. There's a lot that I think we can learn uh, going forward, and there's a lot that we've, we've seen on this trip. What does all this plastic in the ocean mean? Um, it certainly means that the human impact into the ocean, even in a very remote part of the ocean, is, is significant. Certainly what we're coming away with in the short term is more questions than, than solutions, than answers. Um, and from a scientific perspective, that's, um, that's one of the things we seek to do is ask questions about the world, um, find answers to those that then reveal other interesting questions. We never really stop finding interesting things uh, to study. We also do want to uh, translate that material into, into action uh, where possible. Certainly bringing to the public, um, to a more general audience, a sense of what this vast ecosystem is really like and the sense that the human impacts here are significant. Um, I think that's important. Um, I think it's very helpful if we can do that in a way that gives people hope that there are solutions, that, that the problem is not so out of hand that there's nothing we can do. Um, that approach is not likely to accomplish much of anything. It's important to find solutions. It's important to remain hopeful um, that we can get a handle on these, these sorts of problems.